Ah. That's annoying. I was on... I had an idea. Classic, classic puzzle brain. Just did not complete the thought. I... I so... In... Whenever I get stuck in, like, games like this, um... I try to... Like, usually it's like a little, oh, my brain just didn't go there, and I don't want to, like, waste a whole bunch of time. I don't have a lot, of, a lot to talk about or comment on. I'll usually read until I get to the first thing that I don't have or haven't done, and then I just immediately stop reading. Sometimes that's enough, because it's usually just a little... all the little nudge I need. We'll see, we'll see what I can do with this. But I was right that we do need to do that. And it kept running away from us. But now it will stay extended and we can remove the drill. So instead of drilling mines, Let's go drill tanks. Although if the tank, if the drill works and opens up the tank, then why do we need the wet towel? Unless the tanks are empty and we have to make it, but I'm pretty sure like the, the tank is going to leak. Okay, so let's drill the obvious one. Wait, hold on. Yeah, they all of them have bubbling liquids. Attention. System liberty. Air scrubbers activated. Mmm, delicious, delicious acid. Mmm. Alright. Welcome to the Kane Corporation. You know it's a very good and wholesome corporation when they have just like a smiling, uh, 60s-esque, uh, advertising woman. Why they get 60s or is it 70s? Old-timey. Um, alright. Now that the lockdown's reset, before I go down, let's go check. What is that? Okay, I think that's like a jump to part of game. Interesting. It didn't open bay two. All right. I see. Well, there's nowhere to go but down. All right, elevator, where can we go? Mmm, we have options. That's not good for me. All right, storage three is shot. I guess let's just go sequentially. Let's go to storage two. That was a uh, good talk, everyone. Anyway, on to the next area. Uh, service Lobby 1.
Oh, I'm gonna refill my water real quick while we're doing this. Or we're already here and I didn't hit the button right. Attention, service platform one. Please check in with the duty officer before engaging with any products. Wait, what? Portal? The room on the other side of the observation portal has a single bed in the center, surrounded by life support machinery. Oh, okay, just, okay. When I saw a portal, I was thinking a very different portal. Empty room containing a chair. Children's toys tie. Yeah. All right. What are they doing here? Mmm. Very normal, very legal things, my friend. Two child-sized body bags lie very close to one another, as if for warmth. Yep. Just very normal legal things being done here. Oh, is this the nurse? When Mike suggested I go and work in the product storage, I honestly thought he was nuts. I mean, the pay is great and the hours are fantastic, but the job, well, I think it'll be boring. Apparently the only time a nurse is ever needed is when they crack a stasis tube open, which Robert, the admin officer, said hardly ever happens. Nine times out of ten, they just take the pods directly to the different projects. I'm hopeful we'll be able to open one soon. Tomorrow, I actually get to do some of the work that doesn't involve monitoring vital signs. We're opening a pod for Dr. Isaacs in Project Kitchen Knife. They said they needed a specimen who is fully awake. These pods are filled with prisoners and drifters. They had their chance at a productive life and ruined it all. Fucking very judgy about people you don't know. Yesterday was much harder than I imagined. When we opened the pod, the woman inside had no idea where she was. I'm aware that long-term stasis can cause disorientation, but she kept screaming for her husband, saying they were on their way to Holiday in Europa. The doctor quickly sedated her and gave her a vocal cord numbing agent to stop the screaming. I mean, she was obviously lying about being a holiday maker. These drifters will say anything to get out of the situation. What the fuck? That's f oh, that is fucked up. Damn, Clara, you you are a character, and I've only read three things from you so far. I wonder I wonder what Clara's gonna say when they crack open the stasis pod that's a kid. Uh, I feel like that's gonna I think I feel like it's gonna be a pretty big rock in their assumption as to what's going on here. We got another two products this morning. Transfers from a penal colony on Earth. I asked to have a look at their files, hoping it would make this a little easier. But I was told all records are sealed. I had to delete the last few logs. I read them over again, but they were just too painful. I could still hear the crying of the last man we thought out. He didn't even scream, he just sat on the bed, crying, until the doctors came in. They tagged him and took him to the labs. He didn't even scream. Yesterday we opened up a pod with a ten-year-old boy in it. it! Must have been some sort of mistake! Even if he was a drifter, he's a child! His name is Neil! He's in rehabilitation downstairs. I asked to go and visit him, but was told it would be easier for me if I just let things be. I want out of project storage. I requested a transfer to the biomes. I think hydroponics will cheer me up. The pay isn't as good, but at least I'll be able to sleep at night. I heard the department heads talking about getting something from product storage. They already have four unopened stasis pods in the lab, but they're looking for a subject that can respond immediately. This isn't right. They're using products from product storage too. I thought this was just a hydroponics bay. What the hell would they need a human specimen for? Sarah told me that there are more children in the rehabilitation centers under product storage. I'm going there tonight. These security lockdowns have been happening more frequently. I'm going to use them to my advantage. Tomorrow, I'm going to get those kids out of here. I've been leaving these entries on the PDA so that if I ever disappear, you'll know what happened. Whoever's reading this, you need to help. Please, help those children. Okay. Yes. 
but not just the children, the parents, and the fucking, uh, the glass is plastered with what can only be dried blood. Oh, lovely. Yeah, I feel like Clara, oh. Attention, biometric handprint not recognized. The mortuary requires level 5 security access. I don't know how to get me. Oh. Level 1. I see. I think we're going to have to hack off someone's hand for biometric access. Well, let's find someone with level 5. Whoa, fuck! Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Security holograms are still working. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, fuck. All right, so I guess we saw. <laughs> yeah, apparently this is a normal thing. Yeah, Joe's like, yeah, okay. Oh, I guess the security holograms are pretty nice. Oh, that's good to hear. Fuck. What the fuck, John? How are you not freaking out? Alright, um... Maybe if it... No, no, that won't work. Guess we're gonna have to find someone with a security tag. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Well, at least our character is not some cold, callous being. He's actually moved by finding... Oh. Judging from the toe tag, this body has already been processed by some department facility. Well, it's glowing. Do not zip it up. Oh. What is that? Electronic toe tag. I can't see it working like that. What if I use the tag I on the... I was thinking there. Nope. The fuck is this? Alright. So we need... Things we need. We need a level... 5... Biometric. So, maybe this other area is Mortuary. So that's Serve Lobby 2. Or Serve Lobby 1. And what do we get in Service Lobby 2? Oh, I don't like that. This is not good elevator music I don't I don't want my bone grinding cracking in my elevator music this is that is not soothing it's just getting colder oh shit somebody where how do I respond is a non-smoking platform. Tampering with, disabling, or destroying the laboratory smoke detectors will be needed to hard copy identification ready. Mandatory scans are to be enforced. That's right, this is a no smoking spaceship. <laughs> oh jeez. Are they Are they? Yuri! 
Exposed human fat catches the light as blood flows freely onto the cold metal floor. The static radio signal and a faint voice echo out underneath underneath the corpse. Uh, I don't think Yuri's doing so hot, woman. Rerouting radio signal through cloud suit. Thanks, person. Uh, uh, hello? Is anyone there? Who is this? Identify yourself. My, um, my, my name is, is John Mar Maracek. Uh, I'm... John? How did... Never mind. Is Yuri there? Um, after a fashion. He's dead. Shit. Listen to me, John. No, wait. Who are you? My name is Pierre Hensley. I'm a botanist in hydroponics. I know you have questions, but right now, we need to get to the trap. Twain! I'm not going anywhere until you explain to me what the hell is going on. Because Yuri is still there. Yes. Oh, fuck! Okay. I just gotta get in the train. <laughs> I, thought, I thought we were about to be shed. Oh, fuck! Oh, oh. <laughs> I got double faked out and I fucking just mashed buttons. Oh, God. Hey, Sodor. Have a good time lurking. Oh. Oh, God. This game's making very good use of its jump scares. Uh, they're very sudden, they're very brief, and they don't overstay their welcome so far. Do not move. Attention. Tram terminal access will be granted once biological containment protocol is <laughs> completed. Tell me where I am. I'm, I'm your crew member. Crew member? Oh, I don't know how I got to this place. What's the last thing you recall? Uh, my, my wife and daughter, we, we, we were on our way to Titan. And then I woke up here. That's it. I can't remember anything else. I heard rumors of Kane Corporation hijacking civilian transports and bringing them here. Where is here? The Groom Lake. It's a medical research. Oh, great. But Kane? Why would they need a ship for research? They have dozens of facilities. Human experimentation. Duh. Studies. Here, they can do, well, anything. What? My wife, my daughter. I need to find them. Now. I'll help you, John. But first, you need to get to the tram. Get moving. Warning. Biological scans are inconclusive. All of that for basically nothing? Alright, dude. Oh, the tram looks dark. It's got no power. Take a look around. There must be a way to get it up and running. Okay. Alright, I'll, I'll see what I can find. Um, but we have seating, you know, that's, uh, that's very important. What do we got on the controls? Well, we got the emergency stop. That's always nice to press. Some levers. Uh, some buttons. Yup. What else? Run all the way around. Spinning extraction fan. I see. Ooh, a breaker box. We can do some more break da breaker dancing. Maybe the computer will work. Um, charging system inactive.
Cannot change tracks without power. Power level one. Need to activate the charging system. Singular brain cell fled into fear upon this computer screen. Yeah. We probably are going to need to switch tracks. Because that one looks like it's powered. We need 60% power to even switch tracks. That doesn't seem right. Can I break open the breaker box? Break it. I can try to make it fit, but it may break. What about drilling open the box? Hey, there we go. Damn, that's not gonna work. You fucker. All right, what about the other breaker box? Why do you give me hope just to snatch it away? What if we flung a wet towel at it? I don't think that'll work. <laughs> All right. Um, 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 um. Is there anything else I can mess with on this screen? So I know we have we have the switch line, we have the recharge. The charging is not active. Why is the charge not active? There's something at the tram controls I can do to prime it for charging. Is there anything in here to grab? Are there any other exits? Level five. Hey! All right. Um, let's get that level five security. Hmm. Oh boy. That's um Yeah, I'm sure Taya won't mind. Just uh Yuri's lending us a hand. Actually, before I leave here. A flickering light highlights scratches on the door. Some of the scratches look like they were made by bare nails across the paint. I wonder if Yuri was trying to escape. Let me see if I can drill. This isn't gonna work. No, all right, fair enough. Okay. I was wondering if like we would be going to wherever the train takes us to get stuff and then coming back here for these areas. But I think ultimately we're gonna have to solve all the puzzles over here to get the train working. And then we're going to go to like the next overall area. Yay, we're here.
To the biometric terminal. What are we going to find? Access granted. Welcome, Yuri Linov. I just leave the hand on top of it. I feel like it shouldn't be this cold. The Taya said there's a monster here. Maybe the real monster were the humans all along. All right, so we got Arbery Henderson. Body was discovered in the crew quarter bathrooms. Arms had been cut from wrist to elbow. All right, that's not good. We got Thomas, compound fracture of the left femur, fractures along the tibula and fibula, dislodged clavicle, crowbar through the skull. Gotcha. Unknown growths present. Assumption from external sources. Jaina, hold on, where was that Jaina? Jaina Doe? Unknown? Stomach content container something 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 pieces of bone. No, 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 no. Let me look at it. No, no, let me look at it. Hmm. Are the people becoming zombies? The fuck was that noise? The combustion of bodies at high temperatures facilitated by this open furnace unit. A series of interlocking teeth are wrapped around the mechanical wheels. Ah, so that's a furnace. I was like, oh, that's a door. Faint outline of a rusted red metal handle is visible. Can we open this one? No. What if we put the wet towel on the furnace? Oh, I literally can. Now what? Oh. Wet towel is wound tightly into the cog mechanism. Ha. Huh. Hmm, maybe. No. Maybe I missed something. I was just kind of using the wet towel on a lark. Is it having issues with gripping so I can't open it? Did I open any of these portals? I can try to make it fit, but it may break. I'll try and this drill this work. one. All right, I feel like we may need. Oh, what are you doing with the electronic toe tag? Oh. I've been wondering if we could kill ourselves by accident. And that's been solved. I got an achievement for melting. So I'm pretty sure if I didn't turn the um, pressure valves before punching a hole in the... Before drilling the hole into the pressure tank, I think it would have been highly pressured and then sprayed all over me, melting me. Like that guy talked about. I'm like, dang, I can't turn the pressure back on to see if I'm right, but 
I'm glad I was able to uh, fully experience the meltage. Alright, so we're gonna have to open this and then get the fuck out. Let's wait here for a minute, and then it should close, and then everything will be thawed out. Oh God. <laughs> the bones make a rough sketch of the human form. I mean, it looks like there was something in the middle of that one. Lodged crowbar. Oh, oh God. I can hear you're taking strain. But keep your eyes on the end goal. Your family. What's her agenda is my question. All right, I think the crowbar can open those breaker panels just fine. So once I get this tram working, where do I go? Your best bet is to find medical access terminal. Medical wing is on that tram line, so it should be a quick ride. Thank you, Tia. And, um, and I'm sorry about your friend. Just... You just met me. Why do you care about me being safe? Is there something that you can't do that you need someone else for? Is this a... Is this a Soma situation? Are you actually a robot? I mean, it's cool if you are. I don't mind, but... Just would like to know what's going on. You clearly have your own ag agenda. He doesn't even pry it open, he just slaps the door with the crowbar. <laughs> yep, definitely how crowbars work. Um. Yep, those are things, alright. Um, maybe I need to take something from this one. Ram line breaker. Ah, so I need to put the breaker in to charge it first. Uh, game, killing me, game. The fuse in the breaker box. All right, now I should be able to charge it. Hey, well that was fast. I see it. Give me a second. I'm saying your destination for the medical wing. All right, now switch tram line. I said switch tram line. Maybe I had to switch from the tram itself. There was, I think, a button to switch it. That was also a really fast uh, current station product storage. Oh, maybe I need to disable charging first, so it retracts the plunger thing on my bob on my jigger. Also, yeah, that is a really jank breaker box. All right, maybe I just remove the breaker and that'll stop it. And we put the fuse back in the other box. Switch tram lines. Destination set. Start tram will be on your way. 
These manually switch lines from internal tram control. No big deal. And get ourselves the fuck out of here. Now hopefully this tram line works out better than how it did in Soma. Because uh, I tell you what, it didn't work so right. before you started doing human experimentation. Uh... Between Soma and this, uh, I now do not trust trams. <laughs> Who is that doctor? He controlling the things that's killing everyone? Hmm. break a leg, aren't I? I'm gonna break a leg and then I'm gonna have to hobble around for another medical. I think I would have died if I didn't do that fast enough. I'm fine. You're, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Literally got an achievement for jumping. Tia? <laughs> Come in. Radio's not working. John, maybe use the, sna use the snail. Maybe the snail can deliver your message. First things first. Where the hell am I? Trans crash has left a menagerie of debris in its wake. Concrete, strips of metal, power lines, and further mangled mess. I like that sentence. That sentence has a lot of fun words in it. Alright. Um, let's look around. Nylon emergency tape. Alright, gotta might as well use the tape. Hmm, I could use this. Yeah. And the question is, is who the fuck was that doctor and how did he fuck up my ride?
Ooh, one of the engineers. Gain certainly spared no expense on the engineer on decks. More often than not, the air conditioning breaks faster than maintenance can come back to fix it. Walk to the restrooms can exceed 10 minutes on a good day. No consequence. A lush retirement package Kane has prepared for me, and happily work in a cardboard box lined with thumbtacks for the rest of my career. Scheduled to receive my new heart and lungs within the next few months, at which point I may finally retire to join my wife, Rosalind, in Chicago. Until then, cigarettes and foods of the highest saturated fat content will continue to carry me through the day. Even then I was surveying the equipment on the decks when I noticed something rather unusual. A very fine layer of some sort of fungal substance is beginning to settle on the machine. Ah, fungus? It's always the fungus. You gotta watch out for that space fungus, because once you get some space fungus, the entire space station is doomed. You better, you might as well as immediately evacuate, burn it down, and just build a new space station. You've got to avoid space fungus. It even found its way into the dials and monitors. It looked filthy on the inside. Given the conditions around here, though, growth of the mold on any surface should come as no surprise. It seems to be interfering directly with the performance of the gloom, groom, blah, 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 groom lake. So it's some urgency that it's taken care of. Reported it to maintenance. Hopefully they'll be quick on cleaning it up. Hold on, wait. Performance of the groom lake. Is that... I thought groom lake was like the whole ship. Is groom lake like a specific place or tool in the ship? Hmm. Kane Corporation must be pleased with my performance so far. I woke up to a promotion. I'm in charge of the construction of new cloning vats, effective immediately. I have little time to elaborate. This job is important and urgent, I believe. Never anticipated that the project would be on such a huge scale. Clones will be created in mass quantities, utilizing several mega vats fitted with special equipment and enrichment liquid to accelerate the growth process. Must enhance the rate at which I'll, we'll be creating clone batches. They've invented a method of manufacturing human beings faster than humans can biologically. Project Seed insists the cloning vats are put to use immediately, despite the fact they're far from complete. Vats can certainly sustain the closing cloning process, but some safety precautions are lacking. Like... The holding chamber for research clones have no power routed to them, though the electronic locks are useless. Walkways above the vats are only temporary. O'Sullivan fell over the guarded rail into a vat yesterday. Had it not been filled with sanitizing solution, we would have lost him. Clones appear to operate entirely on instinct. One of the complete clones over in Vat Theta bit a good chunk out of Miss Kane's ear during feeding time. Yeah. Promotion near the acid bath. Yeah. Hmm. Curious. You sure it wasn't your performance and maybe more so the uh, non existence of the previous person? You know? Food for thought. Three of the completed research clones tore through their holding chambers analog locks last night over in the labs. Found Peters bent over backwards with his head between his knees. Not gonna be walking again anytime soon. Maintenance will be fixing the electronic locks this evening. O'Sullivan is asked to be reassigned to a different project. O'Sullivan's request was denied. Kane, however, has been transferred to Project Seed. I've been stealthily increasing the proportions of food to Elon's batch in VAT 449. Though they're just hearts and lungs, can't help but feel an attachment. Additionally, we've noticed a mass of organic matter has been sprouted has sprouted a tail and swims around aimlessly. O'Sullivan wants to name it after his mother-in-law, who in their right mind names a defective clone. Is there no, like, flush the solution procedure? Like, hey, we've made some impulsive, uh, uh, instinctive, you know, uh, there, there's a specific word I'm looking for, just, we just accidentally made life and it's like swimming around. Uh, we're just thinking of naming it. You know, 
as one does, there's, I don't know what we're going to do with it. Uh, surely, you know, it's not going to be violent like all of the other mindless clones that apparently come from the vats. Samantha, the impossible human fish monstrosity, crushed Elon with her thrashing as she was being removed from her vat. Most of the other clones in the batch have similar deformities. None of them actually grew into heart and lung tissue as they were meant to. In fact, results thus far are truly horrifying. Maybe they weren't growing hearts and hearts and lungs, my dude. And maybe you putting extra food uh, is not good. You see this swimming in the acid. What you do? <laughs> yes, it was me. It was me swimming in the acid. Just worming along. <laughs> Everyone has been acting strangely lately. Old Sullivan didn't show up this week, leaving me to tend to the vats by myself. I don't understand why that's being permitted, but management would have certainly dragged him down here by the cheeks if there were no legitimate justification. Speaking of cheeks, one of the complete human clones took a chunk out of mine when I was escorting it to the research labs. The Groom Lake has been completely locked down. A massive tremor shook and collapsed the walkways over the clone and vats. I'm trapped. I can't access the bulkhead. This lockdown is anything like I heard the last one was. It should be over soon enough. Hopefully sooner than later. Two packs of cigarettes only last for so long. I, I can hear the screams of terror through the ceiling. The echo. Each, each reverberation is a reminder that damn fortunate to be down here and not up there. Though, so, my supplies are running out. I uh, sincerely hope that I don't have to swim for it. The clones don't get me. Cardiac arrest from the aerobic exercise will. I'm going to attempt to swim across Vat Theta. I'll reach the other side and try to get myself to the next level of the ship. The clones have been violently floundering in the growth liquid. Even what they did to Peters. Might not see the other side of this vat. The remainder of this entry is to be delivered to my... Oh, the remainder of this entry is to be delivered to my wife. Rosalind. I can only hope that I have the opportunity to deliver this to you myself. If not, I must attempt to express with words what I have longed to convey physically. Did I die before I get off this vessel? Every moment of my life, every cumulative experience that has influenced my being will scream your name, begging the reality of inevitable death to spare me. If only you... If only to touch you once more. I apologize for and regret every second I have spent away from you. Till that moment we first met, my heart was a void, lacking the fierce fires of passion that you have bestowed within. No matter the outcome of my escape, I will be long dead before they are extinguished. For an eternity after I have perished, you will live on. Your name will ring out through the galaxy, a testament to all existence that can never exist a love greater than what I have for you. Your love is my life. As such, I am immortal. That's, um, certainly a... Ro yeah, yeah. How romantic? 